what I really want to do, Lizzie? No, what do you want to do, Ashley? Wear an ugly sweater. Oh my gosh, did you know that our next spirit day is ugly sweater day? Friday the 10th. Good morning, Vikings. Today we're going to be asking people what their favorite meal was to eat during Thanksgiving. Come on, let's go. All right, so what was your favorite thing to eat during Thanksgiving break? My sister's homemade mac and cheese. Definitely like the bread and like rolls. I like the mashed potatoes. It's one of my favorite things too. <laughs> I'd say probably green bean casserole. Uh, my mother's homemade stuff that she makes every year since I was a kid. So we're from Louisiana, so it's Southern food. So I get that once a year. So that's what I, I enjoy every year. I look forward to that. Only thing I look forward to. That's awesome. Good morning, Mr. Davis. If you don't mind telling us, uh, what was your favorite meal this Thanksgiving? Um, I went to my sister's house and we had Kahlua pork, rice, and cabbage, um, <clears throat> and uh, some pie and ice cream afterwards. That sounds really good. Hope you had a great break. I did. Thank you. Congratulations, Georgia and Caroline Beard for winning the doubles NCS. Good job, girls. Good job. Hello, Vikes. I am here with the Beard Sisters. Hi, I'm Georgia. Hi, I'm Caroline. Congratulations on winning the North Coast Section Division I doubles title two weeks ago. Thank you. I heard that you two have made county history. Can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, in the history of NCS, no one has ever won from Sonoma County, so it's just a really big honor to um, win for Montgomery. And we didn't really know we were going to break any records when we were playing. We just wanted to have fun as a team together. You heard it, Vikes. Next year, you guys should really try out for the tennis team. Let's set more records! Hey, Vikes, we have a dance show called Becoming on the 10th and 11th of December. On Friday, it's at 7.30, and on Saturday, it's at 2.30 and 7.30. This week, Ace of Clubs has chosen not to film a skit for the following club. This was a conscious decision due to the semi-serious nature and importance of the club. Instead, enjoy this interview with Miss Moran, speaking on behalf of Mecha. Hi everyone, it's Miss M here. Just wanted to say come and join our Mecha Club here at Montgomery High School. We are a club that aspires to promote Latinx cultural and historical understanding, all while reaching out to our community, building community, and of course, having so much fun. We meet every Tuesday at lunch in room 43. Sometimes we meet here in my classroom in room 68. Um, all ethnicities are welcome, everyone is welcome, so come and join us. If you have any questions, like I said, you can come and look for Miss M here in room 68 or Miss Gallardo in room 43. Thank you. Hey Vikings, if you or your fourth grade class is interested in giving a gift to someone in need, pick up a Giving Tree Heart at room 33. I grew up in Southern California. Uh, let's see, I started at junior college, uh, did my AA there, then I went to Sacramento State, did my bachelor's degree in English, and started my master's. Then uh, things took an abrupt change in my life, and I went to, I moved out here from Sacramento and went to Sonoma State, got my teaching credential, and then in 2008-2010, I, I graduated uh, with a master's in mindfulness and education uh, with an emphasis being in middle school. And then in 2015, I got my administrative credential. I think that a history teacher establishes patterns, uh, or rather I shouldn't say establishes patterns, rather um, hopes to be able to guide students to find the patterns in history and to find the lessons in them, to uh, guide social change, I think, by seeing those patterns, um, helping students see their responsibility in making the change that they want, and um, really just having a broader view of time 
and the events through history. I think the biggest issue right now is the pervasive issues that we have um, right in front of us right now. The biggest, I think, is the climate crisis, um, the geopolitical issues that we have, especially in this country, um, and not to mention the issues that are um, arising through COVID, too. I think those are the three biggies. I think it's very hard to get students to understand that studying history helps them solve the problems that are in front of us today. Less apathy, greater engagement, so that they understand the power of their education, giving them the tools they need to be better successful human beings. For me, um, as an English major, I always try to look at it truly as a story. I think it's important to um, see them as characters, you know, and see their drama, see humans um, throughout history, their drama, their, their frailty as human beings, and not as um, enigmatic um, people that we just talk about, but as people, I think. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Eric. What's your favorite thing about history? Uh, my favorite thing is when Ms. Clark has side conversation with us and tells us, when, like, how she should, how she would run the world. What makes history fun? Uh, what makes it fun is when we do our work, we get to listen to music and talk to other people as long as we're not, as long as we're not disrupting other people from doing their work. Hey, Adam, guess what? What? Did you know that Hannah Thompson is the cross country state champion for division three? I did not know that. That's Hey Bikes, today's the last day to get a candy gram and you can get it right here at the quad for $2. You could either get it for a friend, a teacher, or a special someone. I haven't seen you since you were a baby, Harry. I'm 17. You're a bit far older grown than I've seen. Quite a bit at the back as well. He's Harry. Bye. Well, of course you are. Now, we've got a bit something for you. Might have sat on it on the way here, but you know, it's still a little fit. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, but who are you? Hagrid, keeper of keys, teacher at Hogwarts. Of course, you wouldn't know what that is. I'm sorry, but I don't. Don't me, Harry. You wouldn't know where your parents got it from. Got what? Your actor, Harry. Wait. Uh, 